All right, next up, we've got Hank Kuhneman. Everybody's all around favorite Midwestern casino mob boss, false prophet, Joe Pesci Jr. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, note the monogram cuffs down here. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that very special. It says Hank. Hey, Hank. In case if he loses his shirt, somebody can return it to him because he's got his name on it. Anyway, uh, today Hank is going to do what many of the most successful Falls Prophets and Falls Teachers do. He's going to tell you about his latest meeting with, can you guess? That's right, Jesus. So let's let Hank tell the story and we'll comment as we go. Take it away, Hank. I remember one of the greatest visitations I ever had from the Lord was I was worshiping the Lord and I heard this noise of someone that was leading like an army and it was the most authoritative sounding voice and I could see it in the distance and I couldn't tell who it was I couldn't recognize I was like man there was so much authority it caused my whole being to almost be shaken to its very core and my heart was pounding faster and faster as this figure kept coming towards me commanding this army and all of a sudden as the figure got closer and closer and closer I fell to my my knees and I wanted to bury my face into the ground because the one that stood before me was a presence I hadn't felt like this and all of a sudden a hand reached out lifted my chin and I looked up and it was a man with a beard and a mustache and, and eyes of fire and his hair and he had a t-shirt on and combat fatigue uh, combat fatigues all right now hank i might be overstepping the boundaries a little bit but i'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that well you didn't see jesus but instead you fell asleep in front of the tv while showtime was playing an encore presentation of Missing in Action, starring one Chuck Norris, who, yes, also has a beard, a T-shirt, and combat fatigues. Now, Chuck doesn't have fiery eyes, but there are lots of explosions as Chuck was busy tearing up the jungle with various assault weapons and hand grenades and such. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say it was Chuck. Chuck's got my vote. How about you? And I looked up at him and I said, Jesus. He said, what's the matter? Didn't you recognize me? I said, no. He said, that's the problem with people in the body. They have a presupposed idea of what he is and how he manifests and what he looks like. He said, I am the Lord of armies. I am the Lord of war. And he said, I have come to fight for you. And I have come to fight for my people. And he lifted me up. And he said, let it be known this day who I am. But he said, let it be known this day who you are. And he stretched forth his hand and he placed it upon me. And he said, you are known and you are called in heaven, Joshua. Now, tr truly, one cannot begin to even fathom Hank's narcissism. As he stands in front of the church, and it is he that tells the tale, of course, that Jesus Christ came to him and he shared with him this very important information. And that information is, yes, that, Hank, up in heaven, you are known as Joshua. It's just unbelievable. And the people out in the church, you know, the, the assembly and those watching on the Internet, they're just, they clap and they say, wow, what revelation. Hank, you're so important. You're so powerful and mighty and strong. It's just unbelievable. Look at him. And it just makes you wonder. I wonder if, if Joshua had embroidered cuffs on his robe. Something to think about. That's what he said to me. He said, I gave Joshua a sword in his hand, but I give my sword in your mouth. What would you do if you saw Jesus come to you in a t-shirt and combat fatigues? It messed with me. 
It really did. But you know what? Yeah. What would you do if Jesus came to you? He asks his people. Hank says Jesus came in a t-shirt and combat fatigues. Does this sound true to you? Do you believe this? I'll tell you what it sounds like to me. It sounds like blasphemy. Blasphemy. Degrading Jesus to dress like an earthly infantry soldier. And then Jesus comes forth because Jesus has to give Hank, who is a mortal man, this message that, well, Hank, you, I came to bring you this message, Hank, that you are known in heaven. You're well known in heaven by the name of Joshua because you are just so awesome. And I, Jesus, came to tell you that. I didn't send an angel to tell you that. No, no, no. Because I serve you, Hank, right? This, and this is the same pattern that all these narcissistic, self-aggrandizing, false prophets, they've always got Jesus degraded and serving them. It's incredible. And the message is, Hank, you're great in heaven. You're just as great as Joshua was with, you know, after Moses in the Old Testament. And yeah, you are the dude, bro. Isn't that something? And everyone in the audience, wow, it really happened. It's true. We're just going to go ahead and believe you, Hank. You're that awesome. It is amazing. Just amazing. 